Hello, good morning everybody. David Coder with Decoder Marketing here. I'm uh, going to talk to you about how you can increase your website conversions with an all-in-one conversion tracking tool that we use on all of our websites. Uh, we're going to demonstrate on a Wix uh, website, our little demo uh, platform, where we're going to show you how to include the code on the site, which takes no more than a second. And then we're going to step through the platform that we use uh, and all of its benefits that come along with the $10 a month. You can click down in the, uh, the two links below in the description. One link will take you directly to the uh, free trial and another link will take you over to our blog which explains more in depth about increasing your website conversions, how you can do it, uh, and again what tool we're using. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, why is this important? So many people talk about having tons of traffic to their website and that's like you know a salesman bragging that he can bring tons of sales to your company and you hire him for thirty thousand dollars and they bring you nothing um, so I mean this is really critical everyone brags about visitors but very seldom do you hear about people bragging about the amount of conversions so uh, we're gonna do this on Wix like I said uh, I'm gonna push this out to the Wix experts because I know there's a lot of them that ask you know what do we use um, on our sites uh, to get the conversion rates that we do. So here, here we go. Let's jump right into it. Uh, once you sign in into this platform, you're going to have your dashboard. And it's going to look very similar to this, uh, where you're going to have people that are currently online, you know, your basic stats, top tags. Your tech tags will come from where you create your conversion funnels. Uh, so you can always create a new funnel if there's something that you're trying to capitalize on, whether it's your sales, your subscription, uh, or leads. Then you can hook into Twitter, your uh, where people are coming based on keyword, uh, the source, social media if it's direct search engine, um, and then your regions. You know what areas are they coming from, the language, the browser, the operating system, uh, and their devices, and then just a geography of uh, whereabouts these visitors are coming from. Up here, you're going to be able to see live visitors, all your recordings. So every visitor that comes is going to have uh, their own recording, your chat, polls, heat maps, form analytics. What we do is we go into our settings. We go down to our tracking code. We grab this tracking code here and we copy it. We go over to our Wix platform, go into manage and edit site. Wix has a new feature uh, that should be in everybody's uh, websites now where you'll be able to go to tracking and analytics. Once this pops up here, we can click on tracking and analytics. And what we're going to do is we're going to install uh, a new tool and we're going to select custom we're going to paste our code you can name this uh, whatever you're going to remember it as so we can do just uh, visitor tracking tool we're going to want this code to load on every new page and now this code will also go uh, behind login screens so we'll be able to check after someone makes a, uh, a login to a membership page, um, et cetera, where we'll be able to see and track their, uh, their progression towards a, a lead or a sale uh, after that sign-in screen. We're going to want this to go into the header, and we're going to apply this code. Now for the sake, if we ever wanted to turn it off, just click Enable, Disable. If you wanted to remove it, click the three dots, delete it, edit click on edit very self-explanatory so let's just delete that for right now so right now it's on our website and we can go to runfastfunnel.com now in here in the tools general settings Basically, you can request uh, permission to have notifications. This is very important for chat. Um, in the chat setup, we have customization, color background. Uh, if 
we want to change the particular representative, we can. Uh, we have those abilities in our uh, settings under our drop down here. Enable away form, so when you step away, it'll automatically ask, you know, uh, you know, if you have any questions, just send us a, a note, you know, via email. Uh, your recordings, behavior tagging, real time alerts, sounds, privacy. Again, here's your tracking code. Block IP addresses if you're getting anyone that's you know, stalking you or being annoying. Email reports and integrations. So back on dashboard, um, what we can do is I'll just get rid of this here. We can go to our live visitors, and as we see our live visitors, we can tell what operating system they're using, what type of browser, and the device that they're on how frequent they've visited, and how long they've been on the site, and the page time. So if we see that they've been on the page for a little while, uh, or they're just, they're just getting to the page, we have this uh, ability where we can ask the chat, or better yet, we can click on Live View. And what the Live View will do is give us that ability to see what the customer's doing in real time as they scroll your website. So just give it a minute here to load. <clears throat> so now that we're seeing what this customer is doing, uh, they're scrolling, maybe they're looking for something. We have the chance where we can ask the chat something generic, you know, hi, my name is David. May I ask? who I am chatting with and what can I help you find. Automatically start chat, ask the chat. This person that's unidentified currently um, sees our chat pop up, is now currently typing. Hi, my name is Michelle, where can I find my own content? So for sites that are really large and have a lot of information, whether it be e-commerce, blog, tutorials, uh, what I like about this all-in-one conversion tool is that I can turn on this pointer and I can assist this visitor as to where they need to go. So they can see my red dot, and I can say, you can click right here. And that visitor is going to be able to see my mark on their screen. Not essentially being able to make those selections for them, but my red dot is going to show them where they need to go and what they need to click on. Okay, so very, very simple. Um, this is really helpful, especially with e-commerce, if they're looking for a particular product and you have over 300 products. This is an awesome, awesome tool uh, to use to help that customer. They're just amazed um, when we're using it, especially with e-commerce and a lot of uh, tutorial sites that we deal with that are, you know, for blogging, some of our money sites. Um, so right now we can turn this off and we can go back, you know, that visitor, we can take their name and we can put that in here and build this profile up under our settings. And what we can do then is, is know when that visitor comes back to our site, we'll know when uh, Michelle comes back to the website. We'll be able to tell that it's her um, and we can always assist you know, down the road and be a little more personable uh, with that visitor. So now uh, let's just say um, we end live view. If for any chance we want to see any particular type of recording from visitors, we can go in here and play any of these recordings and see what the visitors are doing. Um, I just want to jump over to form analytics real quick because this is this is key with about 50% of our sites that we deal with. It's it's lead conversions. Um, customers, our clients want new customers. So what's cool about this is you know, we have some customers that have really long forms, you know, where they're asking the person's information, their name, their contact information, 
uh, their address as to where they're located and this is really really helpful when we see people leave a particular part of the form where it's like listen we have over 50% you know if I look at reportings you know 50% of the people are leaving at the URL so maybe these customers don't essentially have a website yet but they want the information so they can learn Sometimes the best thing to do is just remove it or replace it with another field uh, and then run it again for another, you know, 30 to 60 days and, and test and see how much that improves. Now, because this is live time, if you have a lot of traffic, you can measure it on a, on a weekly basis, maybe, um, you know, three days to seven days. Uh, you can do testing. Um, this will tell us the source, you know, where they came from, you know, abandonment, the conversions, you know, knowing where they clicked, where they started to click, pretty self-explanatory in the form. It's usually going to be the very first field. Um, but this is really, really helpful. You know, if you're not asking the right questions or you're asking too detailed of a question or too personal of a question, we may see why they're leaving. So, you know, this, this is a really, really cool tool as well. Um, going back to our dashboard here, if we wanted to take a view, um, we can play any one of these here. See if they were on there for 29 minutes. Let's just play this one real quick. Now we have the ability, once we're viewing this visitor, this past visitor, uh, we can have it on, you know, play idle activity. We can skip the idle activity. We can speed it up, you know, 10 up to 10 times. Follow their mouse paths. You know, so if we do this, we can see exactly where they're going. We'll draw lines all over the place. Um, skip the idle times. We'll see exactly where they go. So these are really, really cool tools here. Um, a lot of times in the heat maps, you know, like I said, you can go path, past login screens. So again, it's just like very much like the um, converting, you know, the forms conversion to see where people are leaving the heat map the scrolls. Uh, this is really how this heat map works once it loads here. You now I'm trying to do a video and for other things trying to load in the background here. Um, it's going to ask you for the tutorial. You can just say no thanks. Again everything's right here. Our heat map, forms, elements. We can put comments. Uh, any of the recordings that we want to do we can put the comments with it and send it over to the client. Uh, when we make recommendations because about 75% of our business is SEO, uh, maybe 85%, but we use this tool on every one of our websites. Um, we're really happy when Wix was uh, able to allow us to put codes, you know, Google Tag Manager in the header. So real quick, I'll spend a minute here and just kind of go through the heat map. You can see where clicks are, the precision of those clicks. You can look at the moves, you know, where they're moving on the site. This is helpful, especially with Wix. It's real simple to take, you know, not even a second that if more of your clicks are happening over here on the left side or the right side of the page, you can move them. Um, scrolls, you know, if you have a long scroll website and you have a lot of important information down below and you see that, you know, over 50% or 100% of the people aren't even getting three quarters of the way down, you know that if you're not converting down low, then you need to start moving those elements up higher or finding ways to get those visitors to go down uh, further onto the page on those long scroll sites. So this is all really, really cool information. Uh, I hope you, you follow the link below, you add this to your site, give the trial a, a, a free run for a week, plug it into your site and start monitoring these live visitors because um, it, it's going to change your business really quickly. Uh, we highly recommend it, but take a look at uh, the tool that we're using. Again, click on that link in the description, jump over to our website, read about uh, on-site optimization and website conversions. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching, and uh, please subscribe as we're going to be uploading more videos this week. Thank you.